Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hard to Find 4 Kaiserreich as Norway. Let's continue on for the last left off. So we have capitulated the uh, the Austrians here. Transylvania has capitulated. That's fine because they don't really exist. Try to think. France should be able to send all their troops to this border. We could send troops over to here, but I really don't think that's actually necessary. And I haven't even been looking at the Navy. We have 27 ships. Not the best, but also not the worst. We'll send them over to Italy for now. And the status of Montenegro, we'll give it into Croatia. Bosnia, we'll give it to Croatia. It definitely looks a little bit like a mess, but let's not worry about it right now. We'll see what the other guys end up doing. It would be, it'd be nice to land... I mean, guess they already have Tunis. How close is the... Uh, how close are the French to capitulating? They're at 45%. Morocco is occupied. They still have the cards for 10 victory points. I guess it's just... Um, Portugal does exist. So it's, it's like a weird... Um, how do you say? Um, like a Vichy France situation, which is a little bit strange. You guys have made long Poland. I am going to make your Poland a little bit, uh, a little bit better. Maybe not a little bit better, but at least something that makes maybe a little bit more sense. And also looks less, I was going to say maybe it looks less terrible, but I don't know if that is the case. No, that definitely looks worse. Uh, so, you know, let, let, let's fix that again. I transfer that here. Yeah, yeah I, guess, I guess that's... I mean, they, they have weird borders. And there's nothing I can do about that. But are you still worth anybody? You're worth the Entente. And I, I don't know why you're at war with the Entente. To be quite honest with you. Send you guys down south. We could do the trick where we kind of just fabricate claims on American Union State and the Pacific States. That would allow us just to uh, win. It, we we win the American Civil War pretty easily. I think for right now, because you guys don't have a port. And that that's really your biggest issue, is that you probably want to get a port going. Uh, 101 days for a land doctrine. I think that's pretty good for us. Yeah, and Bulgaria, you guys, you guys should be able to do this. What the hell is this? Uh, control shift H. Why? Oh, why? There we go. I mean, the, the borders are horrible. But I really don't know there's anything I can do to fix it. I mean, I, I don't know. Russia might invade Ukraine anyways. We'll, uh, we will see. Like, I can't build units here. As much as I wish I could. Uh, how much do they have superiority? Do we have superiority in all these regions? Yes. No. Yes. No. We've kind of the most priority everywhere in the Mediterranean. I'm saying we could maybe even send troops to uh, this location here. And we're like, we have 14 out of 16. Why? Wait, what do the rest of my troops? Did I lose a handful? Oh, I don't have any more of the Swedish army. I think all the Swedish troops kind of just disappeared or went back to, uh, to Sweden. I apologize for the cut that just uh, happened there. But what are we going to be doing? Well, how many troops can I send? Because these guys right now are in pretty low organization. I wonder if I just invaded right now, can I take this port and secure Tunis for our allies? I think the answer is like maybe. Um... My troops are just landing at 94%. If I have you force attack, I think that would basically guarantee us our position. Also, we do have a 
thing we can do. Political power, 500 convoys. You know what? Let's just get the 500 convoys. Why not? And just like that, we have secured our landing zone. Beautiful. All the blue army, of course, is going to make their way over here. We got to fight the French Republic. Then we got to fight the, the German government in exile, which is going to be a bit of a mess. The CSA is still trying their best. I, I do think, like, what if we just declared war on, like, the American Union state? 30 days. You guys, I, as far as I can tell, have cut this in half, and I feel like that's pretty decent. Right now, Egypt is getting kind of destroyed by the, the French Republic, which is less than ideal, of course. But now that you've been cut off, once you take the car, like, you should be in a situation where you can win. Germany... Uh, like, I, I, I don't really know, to be quite honest. I think, like, what would be the best situation we can do here? We'll get what we can get in for, like, uh, legation cities. You're at war with the Entente as well, right? Yes. Which helps us out, I think, a decent amount. We're also, we're also technically at war with, like, Brazil as well. I'm not too sure what exactly we're going to be doing here. How many should specific states have? You have no manpower. It's like, like, we could send troops in to try to win those battles. You actually have a port. You do have Tripoli. Try to think, like, what can we do? We might as well also unify this line up like that. We got our heart attack. Our manpower is still an issue for sure. Yeah, it's so going to go here, and then you're going to go to there. Take this city. Like, you are at... We had 26%. You're worth two. That's that's five victory points there. Morocco doesn't count. Are we at war? No, Morocco's in the Cairo Pact. Okay. So maybe 5% will be enough. Apparently Morocco has uh, capitulated. Uh, so, worry about that in just a moment. Bulgaria, you should probably just go to the French. I think that makes the most amount of sense for you, because I'm sure you're probably the one who did most of the work there. Apparently, I don't have enough uh, points to do that quite yet. So, France, you are going to take over Bulgaria. And then Morocco, I, I guess, should still be in the Cairo Pact. Um, where is, like, Egypt, for example? There's Russia... Portugal. Yeah, Egypt, you might as well have Morocco. Save until we have about a billion points. Yeah. No, I don't. How many points do I have? Not enough, apparently. So we'll just keep on passing. I'm not too sure. Oh, no, it's right there. 40, uh, 500. Okay, so we're almost where we need to be. So you guys, of course, can take Morocco. Because you should still be in the Cairo Pact. It makes no sense for us to uh, claim the territory, I think. And hopefully we've got some more troops kind of moving their way down to here. French Republic, if you could capitulate soon. Oh, you're actually worth two victory points here as well. So, you know, let's take that city now. Okay, you go here. You go here. Make progress. And after that, I, I do think we just kind of... Let's start with the American Union state. Apparently they own Guantanamo Bay. I'm not, I'm not even too sure why. But, you know, we'll uh, prepare a cost's belly against them now. Even if... um. We don't send troops right away. Just generating a CB is going to make them put troops on the Mexican border, which should help us out a decent amount. At 23%. You're worth 2, so that got you down to 22. So maybe this is not going to be quite enough. Another city in Tunis, there is not. Like, do we really need to get our way all the way down there? I'm not too, too sure. It's entirely possible that maybe we can, um... You're exactly at 20. What we can probably actually do is just take over random provinces. And that might be enough, honestly. You hold position. You guys come down here and try to crush this. Yeah, so not like this. Just, just taking random provinces should get us slightly over that, uh... The gap there. You have now all been defeated. You've won there. Beautiful. You push in like this. 
know what you're doing quite yet. We'll push our way down to here. Hopefully the French... There we go. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So that worked out, I'd say, pretty well. The British, I'm sure, are going to put troops down here into Germany. I, I really don't know if I need to, um... I mean, like, like, look at this. Um, we're at war with India, but Hyperpad's still at war with them. I, I think we do actually just send our troops over to, like, Texas. And prepare a war here. So I, I, we can't have the CSA lose. I mean, they have a lot of manpower, so I'm not too sure what... What's your issue, then? Like, I don't know what problems you could possibly be having. You might just not have enough guns. And you know what? If that's the case, I will give you... How many guns do I have? I have... 30,000... I have, I have a ton of guns. I, I have way too many guns. I will give you all 30,000 of these. So you can have that. And I'd still have 147,000 rifles left over. So hopefully those rifles can make their way into good hands. Because the fact that they're getting anything done is a travesty. Please stop. Reposition yourselves. Get to where you need to be. The British, I'm sure, are going to start to come down to here. You're still in the war. It does free up a lot of uh, Egyptian troops. Because they're still fighting Iran as well. I mean, Russia... Like, the Entente's at war with essentially everybody. That I can't see a situation where they win. It would be nice for the Dominion of India to have another front line. But I don't know if that's going to happen. You have a million manpower. You have like a million manpower. Any real progress there is going to be kind of difficult. We do have Bulgaria now. Like Turkey, we don't care about. And I really don't think it's going to help us out at all. So where, where's the... You're all good. You're on your way there now. Lovely. You see the American Union States already put troops down here. It would be nice if the Pacific States American Union State went to war again. Like, that would be extremely helpful. We also, we want the CSA to join the war against the Canadians. At, at some point, that would be very valuable. I don't know how exactly we'll make that a reality. Yeah, and I think all these troops are now all flooding down to fight the war in Africa, which is good for us. Africa, are you in the war? You're not in any uh, faction. Okay. I think that is fine. Ethiopia, it would be nice if they were killed, just so Egypt can, and Somalia can maybe create more of a front. Like, how many troops do you guys have? 17 to 85. Is it nothing? I do appreciate the Canadians keep trying to just get themselves killed, though. That does help us out significantly. We got a, we've got a bunch of Swedish troops. Like, I could... Yeah, you know, request forces, all 16 of you... I, I don't believe... Yeah, go with 3-3. Three, three. I, I don't believe that the Entente really has the capacity to land troops in our territory right now. So right now, I'm going to get military access through Egypt. Because we're going to help them push through here. Because I know that um, the rest of the international is not really going to do anything there. Mexico's got like no troops on this border, but that's okay for now. Do I have my cost of belly ready? The answer is no. We're still at war with you. Like, I could get military access through you, but I, no, I cannot until we're actually at war with an American faction. So either way, even if Mexico does enjoy the war, this still actually helps us out. Even if it's just mostly as like a launching point for an invasion of Canada. With 16 divisions, like, our numbers are not great. You're all of our tank divisions. Which would be nice to deploy. Still a little bit tricky for sure. How many ships does Ethiopia have? Like more than they should. I, ho I hope they're almost dead. Uh, current wars. We want to look at you, I think. And then we want to go down to Ethiopia. They're actually not capitulated like at all. Which probably is not great for us. The war with Iran. I get not ideal for sure. Okay, so I think the Germans are eventually going to try to clean up this little pocket. There are dozens and dozens of international uh, units on their way there. Like, I, I think... I mean, where are you? Okay, you guys are just around the uh, Caribbean now. We will send all of our aircraft. Please let me... Thank you. 
All of my aircrafts are now going to go over to Mexico. Yeah, you, you can yeah, you can be here. And just fly right over Texas. I think that seems to make a decent amount of sense. The Bay of India looks like they are on the losing ground now. I think overall, we're we're in a good spot. Obviously, we did take over all of Europe. I'm just hoping that you guys don't screw this up royally and have like no um organization. Because you're taking so much attrition. Obviously, that would be a less than ideal. And we're now crossing over the Mediterranean. Like, I also don't want the Egyptians to capitulate or for our supply lines to be cut off. Obviously, that's not ideal. You know what we could do? Draw your front line. Somalia, I would also like military access through you. I really don't care who gets it at this point. Deploy here. Uh, uh, there we go. And just slowly make your way over to the uh, coast of Somalia. Because having troops on the coastline is better for us. We're not at war with Cuba, right? No. They're war with the CSA. But I don't care about that too much. Are you a puppet of... No, you're not a puppet. You're, you're supporting American Indian State, I'm assuming. Because they have the... Um... Because they have Guantanamo Bay. That would make a decent amount of sense to me. Like, I'd also like to kill Ethiopia just again to kind of unify this front line. Got some British troops moving in. And at this point, like, probably just, like, march your way here. And these are all Swedish troops, which is nice because it's not going to drain our manpower. Deploy these tanks. I know they're still going to be green. I'm kind of okay with that. And I guess you guys can go over to Green Army as well. Send them over. Manpower is still an issue, but we're almost in Mexico now. There you go. Yes, just make your way up to here. Our cost of belly, how long does this last for? It doesn't say. Okay, well, that's, that's fine. Let's go for... Oil refineries, which I really don't think we need. I guess we'll fund the NT, uh, NTH. Seems like an okay place for us to go. Like, this is what I was worried about. Like, if Ethiopia, for example, like, like, like took this one province. No, I guess we'd be getting military access through here as well. So, it, it could be worse. But, like, a German government exile really stands no chance. Mostly just because the... Uh, the British and the French will be able to take over most of this region. While we help out the Cairo Pact. It looks like the DSA is starting to make some more gains, which is nice. And our troops are almost in position. We did get fighter threes. So let's upgrade you. I do realize we don't have enough steel. Can I get more from Sweden? I'm not getting any from Sweden. What happened to all my, my trade with you? Uh, we'll get some of you from Croatia. We'll get some rubber from, I guess, just Siam, sure. That seems acceptable to me. Yeah, you guys are making progress. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And he's just making progress. The Germans really just don't have enough troops to actually guard this entire border. Also, be very aggressive in your battle plan once you actually make your way to the front. Like, I just don't want to think about that line at all. So if you can get that done... Oh, so we did get the 1944 planes pretty early. We're going to conquer uh, American Union State. Will you join the war? You would accept. Thank you. I know this is like kind of cheaty in some ways. But on the other hand, on the other hand, I will say that uh, I think after, you know, the International won the war in Europe, this does seem like it would be a logical step for them to take, would be to intervene in the Civil War. Yes, of course we want military. Uh... I mean, we might as well call everybody into the war. And then American Union States. Or not American Union States, CSA. I want military access. Thank you very much. You're almost at the front now, which is nice. Okay. So really, what are our decisions? Just uh, stuff against you. I do not care about. Everybody's joining the war. And we're really just going to give the territory straight to the CSA. I have real no real interest in um 
Yes, everybody's getting called. I have no real interest in holding any of it. And then, of course, we attack. I mean, do we attack the PSA? I don't think. I think the American. I think the CSA can probably be the Pacific States by themselves. I think the American Union State was just providing a little bit too much resistance. Like these guys. Yeah, low supply, of course, because they really can't do anything there. Also, you guys can be very aggressive in your battle plan. Just keep on attacking. Take everything you possibly can. Um, we're not really going to be taking any territory from this. And how close is the German government of exile to capitulating? Uh, I mean, not very far in, but that's okay. okay Slovenia has joined the war efforts. And what do we want? We might as well keep going down this. Like, we already have, like, so many modifiers here, which is pretty nice for us. You go to Houston, and then maybe, like, try to go from New Orleans from, like, the, uh, the east. You can probably take El Paso. Portugal's capitulated, which is nice. And by Portugal, it does basically just mean, like, all their little, uh, puppet states they had. Or not puppet states, all their little colonies that they had left over. That's who we were actually still fighting against. Believe it or not. Let's try to see. I mean, Pol Poland is right now looking a little bit uh, messy, to say the least. But I still think that's completely okay. I mean, you've capitulated, but I guess this went to the French. Which does help us out a little bit. But I do think for right now that this is going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thank you so much for watching. My name is Ansem. If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. Did not enjoy, you can always thumb down. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.